Hi everyone, welcome to the High Carbon Steel Love Channel. My name is Dave and I'm glad that you're here. We have spent a good amount of time in the woods with my favorite knife, the LT Wright Legume Bush Knife. Well, the Legume Bush Knife has a little sibling. So today we are gonna talk about the LT Wright Camrat Knife. The Camrat Knife design is a collaboration between Ben from Ben's Backwoods and Jason from Lester River Bushcraft, and the knife is produced by LT Wright Knives. Camrat, or Kamrat, is a Swedish term and it means comrade or companion. The overall length of the Camrat companion knife is about seven and three eighths inches, and the blade length is about three and a quarter inches. The knife is full tang, three thirty seconds thick, made of 01 tool steel with a nice sharp spine. The handle is beautiful green micarta, two fisheye bolts, a brass line lanyard hole, and there you'll see the LT Wright Pout House logo stamped right into the blade. I've talked about it before, but the reason I've been so drawn to this type of knife, especially the Legume Bush knife, is because I used and loved the Moore Classics for so long. This style of knife here is perfect for me. It's what I like very, very much. Here's the Moore Classic number one, the LT Wright Camrat the Legume Bush Knife, and the Mora Classic Number 2. You can see some real similarities there. The handles are one of the main reasons I like them. The Mora Classics have that swell there, just like these. They all have that continuous curve, Scandinavian grind. The big difference is these are a bit more heavy duty. Uh, they're each full tang. They each have my car to handles and just workhorses. It's going to be a little too short to be practical, but not a bad little spindle maker here. So that is our initial look at the Camrat Companion Knife, guys. I do like it very much. I've had it for a couple of weeks now, I've used it, and it's growing on me. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of this knife in my videos. I'm not gonna do any comparisons right now between this and the Legume, or this and any of my other knives. I'm just gonna use this for a while and we'll see what we have. One more thing I wanted to mention was it did come with a JRE Industries sheath. 
brown leather. Nice stitching, welting. No dangler system on this one, just a belt loop, which I don't mind at all. But you can make your own or purchase your own dangler system for that if you'd like. Uh, it was a tight fit. I know on Ben's Backwoods website they recommend a lanyard to assist you in getting it in and out. But after a while, this starts to break in, and I always hit it with some snow seal. I haven't done anything with it yet, but once I hit it with some snow seal and it breaks in a little bit, it won't be as tight. But it's very good retention. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, it's very easy to subscribe. You can either hover over my little avatar down here in the corner, you can click the red subscribe button underneath of this video, or in the description box I will leave a link that will allow you to subscribe as well. If you have any thoughts or any questions, leave those down below. And finally, in the description box, not only will you find links to the gear mentioned in this video, but you'll also find my social media links. Join me at any of those other platforms and it'll be great to see you over there too. I would like to thank Ben from Ben's Backwoods, Jason from Lester River Bushcraft, Aaron, and all of the very nice people at LT Wright Knives for all working together to send me this knife and giving me the opportunity of showing it to all of you. I'm very grateful for all of you. Time is our most precious commodity, guys, and I do not take your time for granted. It was great to see each and every one of you, and we will talk with you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.